G'day, my name's Chris, and I cover electric vehicles, renewables, and tech, just from an Australian perspective. And in this video, you're joining me kind of halfway through, and uh, so far I've been doing like portrait format shorts for social media. Uh, so I'm just gonna plaster that somewhere on the screen around here. Um, essentially, this car is handling great. This is a long range Ionic 5, and the best result so far has been 515 kilometers of potential range from that um, 72.6 kilowatt hour battery, I think it is. I could be wrong, I'm gonna put it on screen. Or right now, we're going up hills into Mount Dandenong, and we're now faring at 17.2 kilowatt hours per 100k, meaning 425 kilometers of range. The car is telling me I've got 81% state of charge remaining, and look, when I left home, I started at 100%. So we're not going to recharge, we're going to get this battery down as low as I dare to go, and let's see how it goes. But in the meantime, I'm about to meet up with my patrons for like a bit of a meetup. Uh, these guys are going to have a bit of a try, the Ion Fun themselves, and um, yeah, some fun times at Ginfinity. I've never been here before, I love gin, so this would be fun. Lunch is done, few drinks, and a great catch up with my patrons. Uh, they all got to have a bit of a drive in the Ionic 5, and I was able to show them around them, uh, around it, and uh, some of the people on the brand over there also got to be a show and tell as well. And the compliments I'm getting for this car, uh, people are coming up to me asking, what is it? This looks awesome. My gosh, that's, that's a Hyundai? Wow, and it, I gotta say, it, it it is an amazing car, it really is. I love the interior, um, great specs all around. It's luxury, it really is luxury. It's a new new benchmark, I think, that all car makers will have to actually strive to, and that includes Tesla. Mm. All right, so um, because my Patreon's had a drive in it, it's done some kilometers, and we're now down to 74% state of charge, and um, 274 kilometers of range left. Um, the trip uh, computer I think has been reset unfortunately uh, but that's fine I can put them all together at the end of the video and I will do the sums and let you know the final outcome all right about to do a live stream uh, chat with uh, my producers on patreon and after that we'll get on the road and head back home and I'll give you my final results I'm home, I've just opened the garage, and <laughs> there is a problem. Somebody hasn't parked very well, so I'm gonna do this car's little party trick. The car is locked and off, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn it back on by pressing and holding this, waiting a few seconds, and then we're either gonna move the car forwards or backwards with the key fob. All right, you ready for this? Here we go. It's going a bit slow here because of that pillar in that car. It's centering it. And the sensors, it will stop even if I hold on to it. Isn't that cool? And then I can do the reverse, I can reverse it out and it will do it itself. So why not? Shall we do that? I'll move the camera, hang on. Where's a good vantage point? Over here somewhere? Yeah, over here. All right, here we go. So how do we do? Today, 162 kilometers in total. And I combined the um, two different uh, odometer regions together because it got reset for some reason. And combined, well rather the average, was 152.35 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Meaning that this car is capable of 473 kilometers on a full charge given today's driving conditions. So when I drove home, there was a little bit of regen coming down from Belgrave, 80 kilometers per hour on most of the freeway, a bit of 100 at the end, and I think I could have probably got a bit more efficiency, or better efficiency rather, <laughs> English Chris, if I had used just the climate control only for the driver, which is a feature you can do in the Ionic. 
Um, all in all, a really good experience and a real battery that, like right now, is at 60% state of charge and I do not need to plug it in. Tomorrow we can go to Dalesford, which is what I'm planning on doing, and get back home and then I'll probably recharge it. Yeah, but this is the thing. I could get 10, 15 kilometers of range per hour just by plugging in now, and by tomorrow morning, it will be full again. I mean, I've got a petrol pump in my own house. That's brilliant, isn't it? So, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Uh, if you want to see behind the scenes uh, news polls and stuff that I don't show on YouTube, join me over here on Patreon where you get all this and a lot more from as little as $2.50 per month. That's per usual. You be good and you be green.